guys, welcome. I'm so excited that you guys are here. If you've never seen my channel before, my name is Amber. Um, I'm a working mom and I'm a resident uh, here in Florida. Um, and I've always loved makeup, but I always felt, I don't wanna say judged, but I always felt like people looked down on me, like professors and things like that because I had my hair done and because I wore makeup. Um, but I think that there's no reason why you can't mesh the two. And so if you're in the healthcare um, field and you know, you're working long hours, you're working in a hospital, you're working in a clinic, constantly go, go, go. I want to try and find the best products that will last, that will make you look beautiful and confident without necessarily like overdoing it. All right, so let's get started. I have a fan going in the background, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry. So I typically start with moisturizing and SPF. This is my favorite, it's wonderful. So lightweight, doesn't leave a white cast. And it's super moisturizing. And if there's one thing that you learn from this video or from my channel, is that you should wear sunscreen. I used to tan in the tanning bed all throughout high school. And then got into medicine and realized that that was probably the biggest mistake I've ever made. If I could go back and change one thing, it would be to not lay in the tanning bed. So young girls, don't do that. All right, and then I take my favorite foundation. Oh my gosh, if you haven't tried this, it's so good. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Fresh Wear Foundation, and I have the shade, where's the shade? Oh, 425 Linen. I do about a pump and a half, <clears throat> and this is my perfect shade when I'm a little bit more self-tan, but if I need to lighten it, and I just go in with this LA Girl Pro Mixing Pigment in white. I just tab this on my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's dirty. Don't judge me, okay? I don't have time to clean my brushes all the time. And I just go in and stamp it. And I find that this really looks like skin. It's not too much coverage. In my opinion, it um, doesn't look heavy and cakey and it lasts a really long time. And I try not to really do a lot around my eyes because I go in with concealer and I don't want anything to be too heavy. And I make sure you're blending it in. <clears throat> so I'm just using my phone to um, shoot this video. I probably already said that. And I have a fan going, so hair is getting everywhere, but. So I find that using stamping motions just really helps. Isn't that pretty? I think my biggest skin issue is just redness and not having even pigmentation. Um, I used to have really bad cystic acne um, in my early 20s um, and in my first year of medical school. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it was stress. I don't know what it was, but it was pretty bad. Um, and luckily through using lots of skin treatments like glycolic acid, stuff like that, if you guys want me to get that, that I really struggled with. And then I go in with my, this is my favorite. Oh, it's so good. I hate sharp, tar um, sharp, <laughs> tart shape tape. It was way too drying for me. Um, this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I have my shade in Fair. It's really a neutral color. It looks a little bit grayish. And there's the line here. Uh, if you love tart shape tape, good for you. But I bought it. And I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought something was wrong with me. 
but it was so drying and I have like combo dry skin. I will get a little bit oily in the T-zone. Um, nothing terrible. Of course, I live in Florida, so oh my gosh, the humidity. You go outside and you're instantly sweating for no reason. So isn't that pretty? I don't like anything too highlighted, but I am really fair. So the shade fair really works for me. But again, like I don't like the super highlighted under eyes on me. I think it's beautiful on other people, but it just ain't on me. I don't struggle with dark circles too bad. I have a little bit of like sallowness, like the little pink coloration um, to my skin. And then I go in with my, this is Morphe, it's the E53. Um, and I usually set my under eyes and then my T-zone. I haven't been setting the rest of my face. And I would probably have to do that more in the summertime, but as of right now, I think it's okay. I kind of like it. Um, I noticed that it can really make my skin look really dry. And I'm going in with the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance in the shade 110, Creamy Natural. I like it. And like I said, I just kind of take what's left on the brush and set my t-zone and that's it okay, this wet and wild like contour brush and my you guys so good my physician formula butter bronzer it's pretty early in the morning the sun is coming up so if the lighting is weird i apologize just go in Really carve out the face. Give some dimension. I don't like contour my nose, but I do like to put a little bit of bronzer to make everything. Oh, that's a little too much. That's all right. So I like to flip the brush this way and just get in there. Make us look like we got some cheekbones. All right, and then if you feel like it's too much on the nose, you can just go back in with your powder brush. And then I like to take this big Eco Tools and take the bronzer down the neck. And if I feel like things are a little bit splotchy or not blended, I'll go in and blend them out. Fix this hair. Ooh, it hasn't been washed in too long. <sighs> I ain't got time for that. All right, and then I go in with my Essence Pure Nude in Be My Highlight. I find that this is the most natural highlight. Just gives you a little sheen. When I'm in the hospital, I don't, I just, I don't like to be too gleaming. Not that you can't, but just for me, I like this more subtle highlight. And I like that more day to day, honestly. Um, unless I'm in a, like, doing a wedding or taking pictures, then I just don't go in with a more blinding highlight not saying you can't you do you but that's just me then i use this wet and wild look how dingy this is oh my gosh sorry i've had this for a long time and i can't find another blush brush that works for me and this is my flower blush it's beautiful it has this beautiful golden sheen Start a little bit farther back so not all of the pigment goes on the apples of my cheeks. And the reason I go in with my highlighter first is so that when I put my blush on, it just meshes so beautifully. 
And um, I have a, a different routine with some more cream products, like cream bronzer, cream blush that I really love. Um, but honestly, if I'm just in a hurry in the mornings, getting ready, I just go in with this and I find that it lasts long and um, that's just what I do. Sometimes I switch it up. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow setting spray. I don't know how much setting spray really does. And I like, drench myself in this because the spray is so fine that it almost doesn't feel like anything. And then I just tap. Tap it in, tap it in. I feel like it does help mesh the powders a little bit. <sighs> to do an eyeshadow primer. Now I don't think eyeshadow primer does anything for the longevity of my eyeshadow necessarily or the pigment, but I, f I have oily eyelids. And so a lot of times I would get and have hooded eyes and long eyelashes. So I would find that my mascara would transfer. And so recently I was like, just use an eyeshadow primer, even though I had never used one before. And this is just the one that I saw. And apparently it's like a cult favorite. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer. And you need the smallest amount like if you do too much it's crazy um so I, f I start with swiping and then i just pat it in and you literally only need like uh, that much don't do more than that um in my opinion i feel like i have to say in my opinion for everything or else you'll get destroyed about things and then while that kind of dries down, I like to do my eyebrows. I really like this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I have mine in the shade Taupe. I don't like a super warm eyebrow. Um, I have more like ashy hair. And I find that if I do anything super warm, it just looks orange. So I'm gonna try and stay in focus, but also use my mirror. So I like to start at the bottom and I have really sparse eyebrows. So I start at the bottom and just kind of create the shape that I want. I used to pluck the literal crap out of my eyebrows when I was in high school. Oh my gosh. Or in middle school. I shouldn't have done it. It's another big regret. I should I had large, fluffy, beautiful eyebrows. And then I just kind of flick it towards the front. Kind of lightly. And then the spoolie is your best friend. If you feel like things are too harsh, go in with your spoolie. Same thing, just starting at the bottom and really just defining the shape. I've tried the CoverGirl micro brow pencil and I found that it would just go away so fast. And I need my eyebrows to stay. I work a lot of hours and I need you to stay put. I need you to do your job. I tried this ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. This is probably in the shade Taupe. Let's see. Yeah, Dope Taupe. Um, it is really pigmented. Like I, I couldn't, I just can't use this for my whole brow, but I find that defining the bottom with this helps it to stay really well. So I just go in and do like super fine line underneath. Super, super fine. And then spoolie it out. This brow today is, is not, it's not living its best life. Okay, I'm gonna stop. So we'll be here for an hour. And I don't have that kind of time. I gotta get to the hospital. And then I go in with this e.l.f. Clear Brow, 
brow gel. Look how much mascara is on it. It's ridiculous. And I find that this holds them really well. I don't tend to buy a lot of brow gels. I just kind of stick to what I know. And I like to brush my brow hairs up and then it kind of go over and make sure nothing looks too crazy. And then same thing on this side. Some people go in with their brow gel first. I can't do it. Okay, it's as good as it's gonna get. And now by, the, by that time, the eye shadow primer has set. And so I go in with this Morphe brush. These are the crappiest brushes, but so I've only kept a few like one of them and it's this one like this um, I'm using this Stila this is like the perfect everyday neutral shadow it's eyes are the window shadow palette in soul and I just take the first little cream shade and I just like to set everything give a good even light base and then I go in with this I don't do a lot of shadow day today. I do like two, two colors, three shades, whatever. This is the best crease blender. It's the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH30. I love it. I have, like I said, I have really hooded eyes. I have like no lid space. So I go in with these two shades. And I go quite a bit above where my crease is and just define. I just need a little bit of color there day to day. If I don't, then I look crazy. I feel like it opens my eyes and I just do little windshield wiper motions, a little bit of circle on the outside. Not a makeup artist, we're just doing the best we can. Don't come for me. See, I just feel like that gives a little bit of dimension and it's not too orangey. Um, I just don't like warm shadow, like super warm shadows on me, but I do love this palette. Oh my gosh. You can see I've given this shade a lot of love. Love it. But I switched to the Stila for every day. If I want to go crazy, I'll bring out the Bangin' in Bali. Hang No, hanging in Hawaii. It's not what it's called. I'll bring out that palette. Then I like to go in with this and just touch, just a touch of that and define the lower lash line. I can't not have my mouth open. It's annoying. And I also just lightly define the upper lash line just a little. I have really light lashes. They're long, but they're light. And I just find that doing this step on the bottom just gives me a little bit of definition. That looks a little crazy. Oh, this is the like dome shaped precision brush, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. Um, it's the JH39. <clears throat> and if I feel like everything is a little bit too harsh, I'll take this brush. I don't even know what this is. I'm sorry. It's a little bit more tapered. And just go in and... Soften things up. I need a little bit more up top, so I'm just gonna go back in quickly and give a little bit more. Sometimes I don't do the top if I'm in a hurry. I skip it, but we're doing okay, we're doing okay. And then sometimes I don't do this. If I, like I said, if I'm in a hurry, this is the first thing that goes. Um, I like to use this Morphe, this one of those crappy brushes. It's just little, brush looks like that and I use this Maybelline single shadow in soft pearl it is beautiful just gives the most beautiful 
highlight without being too much and it stays on throughout the day. I'll get in my car and it will still be there and it's the most beautiful sheen. And then a little bit in the inner corner. I just, I think it opens the eye. Makes everything look awake, rejuvenated, like I got 10 hours of sleep even though I didn't. And then I use this Japanese um, eyelash curler, curl my lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with this. Oh, let me get my new one. So I feel like um, when I first get it, I need it to be a little bit drier. And by the time it gets perfect, it lasts like a week and then it's too dry and I have to either get a new one or put some eye drops in it. I don't know. If you guys have any good recommendations, please let me know. I really try and stick the, to the drugstore because um, I have a crap ton of student loans. And so, yes, I love makeup, but I also think that the drugstore has wonderful options. And I don't feel like I can spend a lot of money on makeup products right now. Especially on mascara that I go through so much of. So this is a beautiful mascara. It's just like I said, I have like this love-hate. And can I not open my mouth? If you can, you are a magician. Now, I had tried out this new mascara, and it was the Maybelline, like, voluminous something in a bright pink tube with a yellow band. I hate it. I hate it so much. And it was waterproof. Are you kidding me? I hate hate waterproof mascara with my whole heart and soul. If I can't get all of my mascara off at nighttime, I will literally pull it off, especially when I'm feeling a little bit anxious and then I pull out all my lashes. It's just not the life for me. I know some people really like waterproof mascara because it holds a curl. So my lashes aren't looking their best today because of their mascara, I'm just gonna blame that. I usually do about two to three coats, so we're just gonna like speed through this because we could be here for a minute. So it gives length and volume, which I really like. Um, I think it's beautiful, but some days I hate it. I don't know, I'm not gonna talk about the mascara anymore. Um, let me get a Q-tip, a Q-tip. and just sweep over it. There, all gone. So that's it for the face for the most part. Day to day, I don't do anything with my lips except for get like a flower beauty. I don't even know what it's called and I, I can't find it anymore and it's in my car. So I'm not even gonna talk about it, I'm almost done. Occasionally, if I'm in the clinic and if I have time, I will do a little bit of liner just because my lips are not super pigmented. So I like to define them a little bit. And like I said, I don't do this every day. I actually hardly ever do it, but I'll do it today just for the, the sake of this video. Um, this is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in oh, 03 Nude. Um, like I said, 
Um, if you have any good lip liner recommendations, let me know. Ooh, this is dark. And then just use my finger, blend it out. I don't do this if I'm going to the hospital, like I said. Usually I'm just like a chapstick kind of girl. Um, I tap it out. I don't like anything super defined. I don't try and overline my lips. Um, if you do, that's fine. Um, but I'm just trying to find the line. Then I love these ultra blotted lips. Um, this is what I'll use if I'm like really trying to look put together. I don't typically wear this at the hospital or the clinic. Usually I just go in with a gloss. So let me get my gloss. Um, I like a glossy lip. I like my lips to be moisturized and um, I'll usually do gloss in the morning and then just go in with a uh, chapstick the rest of the day um, for my day to day. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fairy Floss. Look at this applicator. What am I doing? Okay. All right, so oh, this is my day-to-day, -day, if I have time, um, makeup and I love it. I think it looks really pretty. Um, and it lasts throughout the day. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I love makeup and I think that it's okay to have medicine as your passion and makeup. I love to watch makeup tutorials when I just need to decompress and I don't want to use my brain anymore. So I hope you enjoy. This is my everyday routine if I have the time. Um, you know, if I am have about 20 minutes, then this is what I do. Sometimes I'll do more, sometimes I'll do less. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.